morning. We have about four inches of snow. Not that too bad. It's pretty slow there for snow this year. I haven't been out for uh, Probably only 
two engines here. First time out for February. That's crazy. I've usually done snow removal on five, six, nine. I've done it twice. Like removal load trucks.
be a nice big pile of snow behind me where I was, so I couldn't. I want 
out that time in that video it's up now the uh, put your long johns on tonight boys and girls even plowing forwards it was uh it was compacting the snow because of how cold it was that night so you, you could have a really really good cutting edge you know something like uh tom there the dirt ninja has information I have been watching for years. He's a good man. I like his videos. He just came out with a good one an hour long. That's nice, eh? Freaking Metal Plus just comes and gives him a free plow. See that AMI? I, I could be your spokesman, right? You know? I could be your, your plow guy. I shoot a lot of plowing videos with the reactor. Mine's going to be three years old in a bit. Bring me a new one. <laughs> I'm just messing with it. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's some pretty good videos. The had a good one came out not long ago, and I'm sure he would have had uh, had them out sooner. But like, we're just really lacking snow this year everywhere. Carson over at, uh, well, Carson Chesky, I'm sure you guys are familiar with him as well. I watched his videos as well. He's went out plowing four times, is what he was telling me. That's pretty crazy for uh, this time of year. That was a week ago he was telling me that on Instagram. Anyways, uh, let's go to the next one. See you over there.
my cutting edge on this plow is actually tougher than Metal Plus's entire wing. And I think Metal Plus's wing is actually, uh, her, their cutting edge on their wing is probably tougher than their whole plow. Um, or than their whole, uh, the whole wing assembly. But the reason why I don't have it is because the wings are a little bit flimsy for my liking. And I am way up here in the north. Uh, two winters ago, we had the winter from hell. I literally had, I don't know, maybe seven days off all winter long. And we had seven feet of frost in the ground that year. So you can imagine uh, how much our storm drains, sewer drains, all that type of shit will just heave up and down. And our city really doesn't keep up with that stuff all the time. Like every year they don't fix that And I don't blame them because it, it, you know, never ending. Um, if I caught one of those, one of those wings, I would be in trouble. Not to mention if you notice their wings, they use two hydraulic cylinders. Uh, to control the wing. I don't like the cylinders. I like the actuators. Um, a lot of you have also mentioned that this plow is so much like HLA, blah, blah, blah. Well, I've heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true or not, but I think that HLA and AMI are owned by the same family. Like the two different brothers own them. why they're so similar. I'm assuming they both work for HLA, which is Horst. So their 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 plows are are pretty pretty much identical in that sense. Just the cutting edge on the wing I think is slightly different. At least it was when I bought this one. Because believe you me I looked at everything. I looked at Metal Plus, I looked at HLA, and I looked at AMI. And the reactor, it was either HLA or AMI. And, holy crap. And the reactor, AMI, their cutting edges on their wings is what sold me their plow. Not to mention their service. And I'm sure you're famil all familiar with Chris over on Let's Dig 18. I've been watching that guy for years. Um, all of his attachments, his, uh, his new digging bucket with his thumb set up, that's all made by AMI. His tilting bucket, which is a 60 inch, that's a freaking monster. Made by AMI. Yeah, that freaking bucket, eh? Holy sh! It says 1.25 cubic yards, but I've seen them with heap ones. That is every bit of two cubic yards you're squeezing into that bucket. Let me tell you. I'll be buying one. Uh, me 
I used to run a lot of deer, deer equipment. I had a Takeuchi excavator, which I loved, by the way, the Tak excavator, I loved. I just couldn't get parts for the damn thing. I mean, you could, but it'd take you like anywhere from three days to a week. So yeah, that just uh, that just ruined it for me. But yeah, I, I, uh, I love that little excavator. excavator I ever had and I got a good deal on it I only paid 10 grand for it Canadian for a 2005 oh what the hell was it it was a three ton I don't remember it was a TV son uh, I have to look it up
up through the entranceway here. The rest I can just swing and grab. And then we go back up, back to the laneway to get everything up to the front here. Alrighty then.
Sorry to be mean, but it's true. It's just so much faster than a truck.
getting a deal when I bought it. Oh boy, was I getting a deal. But all honesty too though, I am not a, uh, I'm not a fan of Ford's uh, V8s. I don't know what their brand new ones are like, but I know I'm gonna sleep good when I finish up there and uh, let me see. Huh. Eight hours? Nine hours? Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of Ford at all. I know you're uh, not that long ago, a few years back. Their motors, their V8s, it was a two valve head. And if anybody knows anything about motors, head is not good. Um, they thought it was better, but it is definitely not. I know a lot of guys with uh, the Fords that flew head gaskets with, you know, 100 to 120,000 kilometers on it, which is pretty crazy. Got close to 280,000 on it now. At 270, to begin there. And it's still the original head gaskets. And that truck has done something, but push snow and plow. It's entire life. This is the first winter that it hasn't plowed.
right here to my tires are running over right now. Plow will either adjust it up or down or whatever. sign 